Russia faced certain problems regarding the financing of the war in Ukraine. According to Oboz Revitel media outlet, this is expressed in the fact that the Russian military will begin to receive less compensation for injuries during hostilities and will also be forced to pay for equipment damaged or lost during the war. As reported by Russian media, the deputies of the State Duma of Russia have already adopted in the second and third readings the law that will oblige servicemen of irregular military formations to pay for equipment damaged or lost during the war. The cost of lost or intentionally rendered unusable property, equipment and weapons will be deducted from their salaries. In addition, they will be held financially responsible for damage caused due to carelessness. The penalty will amount to no more than one monthly salary and one monthly seniority allowance. Volunteers are also subject to material liability for theft, intentional destruction, damage, spoilage, illegal use of property and other intentional actions. Previously, such responsibility was assigned to conscripted and contract servicemen. In addition, Kremlin dictator Vladimir Putin approved new rules for payments for war injuries. From now on, they will receive 3 million rubles for serious injuries, 1 million rubles for minor injuries, 100,000 rubles for other minor injuries. Despite the fact that the maximum amount of payment remained at the level of 3 million rubles, the updated rules actually mean a decrease in payments for injuries, because previously the severity of injuries was not taken into account. At the same time, in 2024, the military expenses of the aggressor country will amount to 11.1 trillion rubles or 30 billion rubles per day and accordingly 210 billion per week. Russia's daily spending on the war in Ukraine exceeds the weekly budgets of 80% of the regions and one of them annually spends as much as is allocated from the federal budget for the war per day. Oboz Revatel also reported that in 2024, the number of visitors to clothing and footwear stores in Russia fell sharply. The strongest reduction occurred in the fall. Meanwhile, Russians began to drink more alcohol, and the number of drinking establishments, bars, pubs, increased significantly in the country itself.